a simple circuit. In grade 5 you learn that electricity is a type of energy that flows along a path called an electric circuit. A circuit is a system. Remember that a system is made up of two or more parts that work together. A system always has input energy and output energy. An electric circuit is a system that transfers electrical energy. A simple circuit has three components. A source of energy, such as a cell, or a number of cells that we call a battery. This is the input energy. A material for the electric current to move through, also called the conducting material, and we often use wire for this. And a device that uses the electrical energy such as a bulb or a buzzer. This device produces a form of useful energy such as light or sound. This is the output energy. A complete circuit. An electric circuit. In an electric circuit, the electricity flows in a continuous path round and round the circuit. A circuit is a complete unbroken pathway for the flow of electricity. Look at the example of a torch circuit. The arrow shows the movement of the electrical energy. You can see that the electricity moves from one cell to the next through the bulb and back again to the cells. A switch. The torch has a switch. When you switch the torch on, the electricity starts to flow around the torch circuit. When you switch the torch off, the electricity stops flowing. The switch controls the flow of electricity. When the switch is turned to off, it stops the flow of electricity through the circuit. We say it breaks the circuit. When we turn the switch on, the circuit is complete and electricity flows again. If you look at this diagram, it's very easy to make a simple switch. You do not have to buy a switch. You must have a block of wood, a matchbox, or you can use a, an eraser, two drawing pins, and a metal paper clip. So, this can be your eraser. You attach the two, mat the two drawing pins to it and then the metal paper clip. Put together the parts of the switch. When you put the switch in a circuit, wind the wire around the drawing pins and push the drawing pins firmly into the wood, matchbox or eraser. To switch on and close the circuit, press the paper clip down onto the drawing pin. To switch off or open the circuit, lift the paper clip off the drawing pin. Activity 1. We're going to investigate an electrical circuit with a switch. Last year, or in grade 5, you made an electrical circuit but without the switch. So it's basically the same thing. <clears throat> the materials that you will need are a cell, switch, conducting wire, a bulb, tape, wire stripper or a knife. To make a circuit, as shown in the diagram below, and then you will answer the questions. It says, close the switch, observe what happens to the bulb, open the switch, observe what happens to the bulb, answer the questions, does the bulb light up when you close the switch, explain why, did the bulb light up when you open the switch, Explained why. Okay. Okay. 
Now we are going to make our circuit. So there's the cell. There's our wire. There's a switch. There's our bulb. Our circuit is complete. Let us now close the switch. Can you see that current is flowing through the cell and to the bulb and the bulb lights up. Let us open the switch now. And the current stops flowing. One more time. Current starts flowing. Current stops flowing. When you close the switch, you observed what happened to the bulb. When you open the switch, you observe what happened to the bulb. Answer the questions. Did the bulb light up when you close the switch? Give a reason. Did the bulb light up when you open the switch? Give a reason. Now, you must draw a picture of your circuit and label all the parts. But before we do that, I'm going to teach you how to draw a circuit with symbols instead of the actual drawings. So we are going to go to the circuit diagrams. It takes very long to draw a picture of a bulb and a battery and a wire. So there is an easier way to draw electrical circuits. We can use symbols for the components of the electrical circuits. We call these drawings circuit diagrams. The table shows the symbols used for the different components in circuit diagrams. So for a cell, you will use one long line and one short line. For a battery, you will use one long line, one short line, one long line, one short line, one long line, one short line. For a bulb, you'll have a circle with a cross in it. For an electrical wire, that will be the symbol for an electrical wire. For a closed switch, it means electricity must flow. You will find that that is the symbol. For an open switch, find that that is a symbol. These are the draw how to draw components in a circuit diagram. When you draw a circuit diagram, you use the symbols to show the position of the different components in the circuit. So, if you look at this diagram at the bottom, you must draw first, you must draw in your power source such as a cell. A cell has a positive and a negative terminal. You show the positive terminal with a short vertical line. The longer vertical line shows the negative terminal. Draw a line from each end of the cell symbols to represent wires connecting the positive and the negative ends of a cell. So it will be that way and that way. Draw in other components such as bulbs and switches. So that will be your switch and that will be your bulb and you do it with your electrical wires. Draw straight lines to show the wires that join up all the components in a circuit. Look at the drawing below and on the next page you see what a circuit diagram looks like. We have labeled the diagram on this page to help you identify the parts of a circuit. We do not usually label circuit diagrams. So that's the switch, 
that's the electrical wire, that is the cell, and that is the bulb. This is a circuit diagram with the switch closed. That is a circuit diagram with the switch that is open. Can you see when the switch is open, there is a break in the circuit, so current will not flow. When the switch is closed, there is no break in the circuit, therefore current will flow. We call the first circuit diagram a closed circuit. This is because the switch is closed. When the switch is closed, electric current in the path can flow around the circuit. The light bulb will shine because it gets a flow of electric current. Circuit diagram on the right shows an open circuit. Notice that the switch is open. The electric current cannot flow because the open switch breaks its path. The light bulb will not shine or light up because it is not getting the flow of electric current. Now, in your books, draw these circuit diagrams. Here, you must use symbols to draw instead of using the actual components. Then for 2A, name the components A, B, C, and D. If you look at the circuit, will the bulb light up? On, will the bulbs light up or not? We will discuss this when we do the lesson. An electrical circuit is a system for transferring electrical energy. Simple circuits are circuits made up of these components. A source of input electrical energy, materials such as metal, wires through which electricity flows, a path that produces useful output energy such as a bulb or a buzzer. A circuit is, complete, is a complete unbroken pathway for the flow of electricity. An open switch in a circuit breaks the circuit so that electricity cannot flow. A closed switch in a circuit completes the circuit so that electricity can flow. Circuit diagrams are drawings that show the symbols for the components of an electric circuits. Let us do the language revision. Choose the correct words to make each of the following sentences true. The name for the movement of electrical energy in a pathway is electric current or electric circuit. The parts of electric circuits are called a device in a circuit such as a buzzer gives off input or output energy. Electrical energy flows in an open or a closed circuit. A circuit board or diagram shows all the parts of an electric circuit. Circuit diagram. 